time is also important when we talk about the law. The law is the lowest bar when you're looking at how you treat people. And you really need to think about yourself and where are your standards? What's the best you can do? And if I had better PowerPoint skills, this would be like a hurdle and this would be a high jump, <laughs> but I couldn't pull that off. Uh, so again, sometimes it's easiest to put this in stories. I'm a storyteller. And there was a situation in my life, for example, where we've had to lay people off, much like what's going on now. But this law applies if there are layoffs or someone's just leaving. You fire someone for performance, they've resigned, whatever the situation. And if you're not familiar, if you have medical insurance, there's a law called COBRA that is about how you can continue your medical coverage even though you're no longer employed. And under the law, employers have 14 days to send that COBRA notification when someone's terminated. So put yourself in the shoes of someone right now being laid off. They just found out they're not getting a paycheck. And if their health insurance is through their employer, they also just found out they're not sure what's going to happen to their health insurance. Right? So what could you do that's at a higher standard? The law does not say all you can do is wait 14 days for them to get the letter. And then the letter explains the cost and the timelines for decisions, etc. You could give them a summary letter or your company, right? But you know, could give them a sum summary letter on their last day that says, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get this notification in 14 days and it's gonna tell you this will be your cost and these will be your options. You can start thinking about those now. You could now use this data to go price on the open market what a plan might cost you. It gives them power to take action instead of making them wait. It's just a higher standard. You could also give them examples of different scenarios so that they might understand better how to make the decision if it's wise for them to COBRA or not. You can't tell them what to do, but you could help them with facts and stories make those decisions. So I used this in many other situations. Um, I did manage a company through a very large layoff. I've done this twice, uh, two economic downturns, but the first time I did this, the mass layoff was so large that we hit an act called the WARN Act. And the WARN Act tells you, you have to give your employees 60 days notice that they're being laid off, or you have to pay them 60 days worth of pay in lieu of notice. And this you know, act only applies if you have over 100 employees, and then depending on how many you're laying off, I and mean, there's a lot of rules to it. So it may not apply to any of y'all situations, but again, it's the point of, we hit this we actually couldn't even afford to comply with the law. We couldn't hit the 60 day notice, nor could we afford to do 60 days of pay. So we had to ask for an exemption. So for us, we didn't even, even hit the low bar of the law. We, we couldn't even hit that bar. And then we had a PR blunder because the day we did our layoffs, um, employees went home and they had a holiday card in their mailbox from the COO and he was standing in a snow globe with the company shirt and logo and making an X because it was in the company name um, and wearing cowboy boots with the company logo on them with, you know, his jeans were tucked in so you could see the logo. And it had holiday greeting, years to count on. So we laid people off and they got a holiday card. That was definitely a PR blunder. We made the front page of the business section of the Washington Post. That is not where you want to be um, when you are laying people off. So please, I've, I've learned, I've done things well and I've got some hard lessons learned to share. Fortunately, before the PR blunder, my team and I approached the layoff with above the bar. What can we do better than the law requires? And we created these RIF notebooks. Again, keep in mind, this was 2001. So things would, I mean, it's the same concepts, but things would be executed differently. But we had RIF notebooks. We made everything as easy as possible. We gave them very um, detailed letters about their COBRA for their health, for their dental, for their vision, for their life, for their disability, short-term and long-term. We gave them instructions on how to apply for unemployment because many of them have never done that. Um, we gave them, again, I'm 
you get the point. We made it as easy as possible. We did all kinds of things the law did not require us to do. We were very honest and transparent. And we apologized for the holiday card. I mean, we were mortified. Literally called people we had laid off and apologized. Um, and the results of that. During the layoff itself, almost across the board, people were kind and understanding. Nobody was excited, but they were kind and accepting and understanding of the situations. We had hired one of the largest outplacement firm, firms called Lee Tech Harrison to come on site and to buy our methodology. They offered to buy that methodology and the template of that notebook. Um, our then CEO told them, you can just have it. Like, Treating people well should be a standard, so you can just have the methodology. We established an alumni group. These people were not angry, disappointed maybe, but not angry. And we had this strong alumni group. And then as the economy bounced back, a lot of people that we laid off came back to work for us or they followed me to another company. Um, so we did a lot of things right because we did above the law. It took some time. It didn't cost as much extra, um, but it took us a more time and more care. But the protection of the brand, both in the media when we applied after the blunder, our PR blunder, and with our employees and our customers was huge. But we did it because it was the right thing to do. So how do you implement being better than the law? If you can, right? Sometimes you can't. <laughs> But first, you better understand the law. So, you know, get help. If you're not an HR expert or if you don't understand laws in other areas, um, just find out. Definitely invest the time and the money to find out what the law is. And then understand the procedures related to the laws. Be curious, ask questions, put yourself in the shoes of the people who are gonna be impacted by that law, right? Is it your vendors, your employees, your stakeholders, your customers, how is this going to impact them? And really think about how do I make it the easiest for them, even if that puts a little bit more work on me in the short term. And then just invest that time to be as helpful as you can be.